Welcome back to another day in the life with Illegal Mist. We are hopeful today could be the day that we get seer, we get even faster speed runs. But it's not today. It's just not today. We got a two-star Baron, a one-star Arbiter, and a two-star Duchess in the shop. Now, those are all pretty enticing. Let me go in. So, if I get Duchess, what does she get at level 2? She gets 400 extra defense, which is pretty legit. It'll help my 3v3. The Arbiter, I'm not too fussed about because my Kaimar has a blessing, and then I use Riho on the team as well. And then where is my boy Baron? Here he is. What does Baron get? He gets 500 attack. You know, I'm, I'm leaning more towards the Baron. I think I got to do it. I think that'll make him just like a step above where he already is. And I love this dude, so happy with that one. I'm probably really close to to being able to get both of them. Yeah. So I could get Duchess, but I could. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think if I should get Duchess or not. Um, I'm on the fence about it. I probably should, but I also don't really feel like getting it right now. Oh, wow, 100 energy. I didn't even know you could get 100 energy from that. That's pretty legit. That's definitely a good, that's like 30 gems, basically. We're very close to finishing Fire Knight. Should be able to finish it today without using many resources. And I've been farming stage five of the hard Fire Knight. Been slow and steady, but I haven't really had anything else to use my energy or anything else on. So been going well. We'll pull these to get the daily done. I just got to do the campaign bosses. I always just do normal. Do three of these real quick. Get it done with. Have it out of the way. Um, yeah. Trying to think, oh, so I know I have like a, a thousand video ideas in my head, but then I go to like, I'm like, okay, like what video am I going to make today? And then I kind of like blank. That was three, right? Yeah. Uh, I kind of blank all the time. So I'm not sure exactly what I want to work on today, but I have an idea and it involves Hydra and it involves Nightmare and it involves this team. So I think there's potential that I might swap out Coronar on this team, but it's it's a really cool team. We'll just run it like for just a second so you guys can kind of see how it goes. But the whole purpose of the team is the counterattack with Martyr. And once I get Martyr booked, I think I think Coronar won't be essential, but the main reason I have him in there is because he's a AoE A1. And I'm not sure what other champions that I have that are AoE A1s. I have Uko, but I was dumb and I used I used my brutal key already. And I was like, oh, like I don't need Uko for this like nightmare team, so I'm just not gonna use him on it. And whatever. So it it would be easier if I had him on the team just because he steals the buffs, he gives me another block debuffs uh, I think the the hardest thing for this team is when the head of wrath comes out because I don't have a healer or a, a reviver I mean um, head of wrath comes out and if the decreased defense and block buffs doesn't land on him he can get pretty sketchy especially because Frisk will have ally protect on um, but yeah it's just like super fun team I mean you can see like right now we're clearly full auto i 
the other thing too is like Sissia is really solid for this team, but I just want everyone to have AoE A1s because I just want everyone to do work. Obviously, Martyr and Oella don't have AoE A1s, so it is what it is. But if I switched out to Hunter Rock and Uko and then put like Sham or something in for Sissia or Coronar maybe, because the nice thing about this team, you can see, so our Mischief tank is pretty much, we have four champs that can do it. We have two Hunter Rock when she has increased resistance, Martyr when she has increased resistance, Oella when she has increased resistance. So I guess those three, and then Coronar and Krisk can do it all the time. Uh, Sissy is the only one that can't be a Mischief tank, but she gets the, um, uh, what's it called? the extra turn when she lands all of her HP burns, which happens pretty frequently. And then like Krisk is pretty much gonna have a, a bunch of buffs and then uh, Tuhana Rock is also gonna have a bunch because her A1 gives her the um, continuous heals. So we'll, uh, we'll, we'll get this champ out and then we can uh, end the run. Just so you guys know, it's not, it doesn't go down right when we lose someone. Uh, of course, the... Uh... <laughs> oh my god, I shouldn't have said that. Okay, well, maybe this run just had bad RNG, but um, typically that doesn't happen. And I think they could still probably get her out, but... We'll end it there. You guys kind of get the gist of the team. It's super fun. And yeah, I think if I had Uko instead of her... The, yeah. It's tough because... I have so the champs that I have built specifically for this to Hunter Rock, Martyr, and Oella. And then Coronar kind of but not really. He's got 468 resist, so he doesn't need the increased resist. He actually, with 1.8k defense, is able to live a lot because his health is so high. Um and he's just like super fun. He's in a provoke set. But I just wish like if I had one other champ that I knew of that was AoE A1, that would be pretty solid for this. Like I said, Uko, I could run, but I was dumb and used his, used him in Brutal already. But if you guys go through my champs and you see someone that would be pretty solid for it, let me know. I just don't know. Yeah, and then in my vault, I'm just trying to think like, If I had Mashald, I think Mashald would be pretty sick in this team because he would give you the leech and then he hits pretty hard. I know he kind of drops off on Nightmare, but I still think he would be really good. Yeah, like I'm, I'm just trying to think. Maybe even like Fenax would be good. He gives you a 75% chance for decreased speed and decreased defense. He also gives you, I think, right? Let me just look over his kit really quick. Um, I know he gives you decreased speed, decreased defense on a not super reliable chance. And then he also gives you block buffs chance. Yeah, so 75% chance. So 80% chance of placing block buffs on all enemies. So it's pretty decently like, like a good backup one. Okay, and then a 60% chance of decreased speed, decreased defense. But his A1, because it hits so hard, he was on a counter-attack team. Could be kind of interesting. My Martyr, actually, she does a lot of damage. Like, I didn't realize she's only got, like, 178 crit damage and then 3.5k defense. She does a lot of damage. But yeah, so that's the team that I have for that. And I, I might just make a video just being like, hey, oh, <laughs> let's go. Hard claim boss showing up today. You love to see it. And the five gems. Thank you. That's why we try and hit hard as much as we can. You never know when you'll get lucky. But yeah, so that's why I, I thought it'd be cool to make a video like. Again, it's a proof of concept that I think has kind of like come to life. Like it's actually a possible team. I got the one key yesterday. It was either I got the one key or I was like. 
half a mil away from it or something like that. I might have even ended the run before it ended. But, um, dang, hard clan boss giving us the, the best stuff for the day. So that's kind of funny. We're going to hit hard real quick, too. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, it's a, a viable strategy using counterattack. And I, I think it just like, I hope it unlocks like people being like, oh yeah, I don't have to do Hydra in this typical way. Like I can try stuff like this out because if you can do counterattack, you can also do block, block, uh, damage or unkillable teams. And then you realize like, well, if I can do block damage or unkillable, like I have the potential to make teams that are insanely strong and we just rely on this like block damage or unkillable type thing and i think it it'll ramp up where like people are able to come out with some really cool teams obviously there's rng involved with hydra but the fact that you can reuse your keys is huge so let me run this i'll be right back all right there we go hard key down all right, I was like, did I do enough damage? But I did, so we're good. Oh, I got my Lego book. I think it was yesterday or the day before. I can't remember, but we're sitting at eight now. So Martyr is really looking forward to these three books. I think it'll be awesome getting the decreased defense on a 75% chance. And then of course the provoke going down. I think realistically with the provoke, like this is this is what's really cool, right? If I get that provoke down to like a four turn, I can run her and Uko. And I think because she gets so much turn meter fill and I think she's semi fast. I think she's like 250 speed. Where are you? 239, but yeah, she's got these speed boots. I'm doing it. You see it here first, people. We should, uh, spending all that ascension. 247 now. So yeah, she'll be 250 speed. And I think, she's, yeah, she's got one, two, three, four. So four completely unglyphed pieces and then one that only has a plus one. So she's gonna be a speedy girl. I like, I mean, I knew Martyr was a good champ, but after building her, I'm kind of regretting waiting this long. She's she's super good. Like, just the fact that she also gives increased defense on this counterattack ability, uh, she's awesome. So yeah, I think once she gets these two books and then this decreased defense, I, I need to start thinking about what Krisk is actually doing on my team, right? So Chris goes in, he gives me increased speed, which I get from two Honorok. He gives me decreased defense and decreased attack on the enemies, but Martyr gives me decreased attack on a four turn cooldown, and she gives me decreased defense, and pretty much everyone's always gonna have that. I also have decreased defense from Sissia with her ability here. Um. Does someone else give me decrease attack on the team? Oh yeah, two Hanarok does as well. So she gives me decrease attack. So like, so Chris isn't providing increased speed because again, I'm getting it here. So increased speed, decreased defense, decreased attack are all taken. He gives me ally protection, which I don't have from anyone else. And where else is he? Um, Decreased speed, which I'm getting from two Hanarok, Oella, and I think that's it. And then uh, he gives me the increased duration of all buffs. So that's so ally protection and increased duration of all buffs I don't get from anyone else. And that's it. And the shield at the beginning, but the shield doesn't really matter. And then he gives me brimstone. So ally protection and increased duration of buffs. My thought, if I were to throw Godseeker in, she gives me a heal on the A1, so I get additional heals on my team. She gives me the additional heal on this move, and then she gives me the increased duration of all buffs, as well as the chance to proc the decreased duration of all buffs on enemies. Her, her uh, accuracy isn't super high, but it's like, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't type thing. 
And then she also gives me this, which I need, I think, on the team, which is the revive and then, you know, everyone, their skills are put on cooldown, as well as a revive on death on a champion. So I think she could potentially be better than Krisk. And then I also have Miracle Heal on her with a five star. So she'll also be able to kind of re like regain the destroyed HP on my team. So I'm almost thinking she could potentially be a better choice. Now, I also have uh, some other champions that I haven't built. Anchorite, I think, yeah. So he gives me increased crit rate, increased crit damage on all allies, which could be kind of nice. He gives me the, the remove one random debuff and then increased duration of buffs. And then he gives me attack all enemies. He was the ally with the lowest HP. So he actually has an AoE A1, which I didn't think about. He gives me the increased crit rate, increased crit damage, which I don't have on the team currently. And then a small cleanse and increase the duration of all buffs. So he actually could be an interesting pick too. What is his aura? Ally HP in all battles by 25%. So he's an interesting pick, I think. With the AoE A1, it's a lot more enticing to me because that's where I get a lot of my damage. When I ran it yesterday, I don't think I have a picture of the team when they finished, um, but it was like I was getting like six mil from Chris, six from Coronar, and, you know, Sissia had like the majority of the damage, but the AoE A1s were not to be taken uh, for granted for sure, so... Yeah, that's a that's kind of an interesting pick actually. He could be pretty good. And then it kind of frees up the opportunity for Chris to go in my brutal team. I don't know. We'll see. The other thing too is I think my brutal team can hit nightmare fairly easily, so I could always use them for nightmare and then switch this team to brutal, but I like having the counterattack team for nightmare cuz it's just why not, you know? Just got to get a few more keys or uh, great hall things done. Whatever they're called. Arena medals, tokens used. I can't even think right now. Too focused on Hydra. And then for tag, I got to bust all this stuff out. 20 minutes until those reset. My guy is flexing. I'm probably not even going to be able to beat this Siffy. I gotta swap out this team before I forget. And then we can double check. I think I finished the artifact enhancement yesterday, but we can double check that and then kind of see how we're looking for the events and tournaments. But I have 90 fragments, if I'm thinking correctly, for Supreme Alhane, and then the champ training should be if i have any like you know i miss something or whatever i'll be fine with the uh, champ training finishing that boom see you know i can take on plat finishers all the time just need them to uh have one man defenses in 3v3 Okay, so Dungeon Divers, 4450. I think that's where it was last time, and it was a pain in the butt. So highly recommend you guys skip that if you get the chance. I did end up getting the fragments. I'll probably, if I have enough silver, I might go for the Ancient, and I don't know about the Epic Book, but worst case, whatever. I ended up getting these five Mortal Soul Stones as well, and then I should get this Lego Tome with two weeks left realistically the avatar is pretty much the only thing i really want the void shard like obviously void the energy and all this stuff is like really good rewards but i'm not i'm not uh pushing super hard to get all that so i get the fire knight ones here which will be five i should be sitting at 90 yeah so all I need to do then is Fire Knight and then the champ training. Hopefully they have five like pretty easily and then 
the other five are a little bit higher. And if there's a Lego book, I'll probably go for it too. But yeah, we are looking solid on the account. I, um, 142 voids. So for this, uh, the double void chance or whatever this weekend, I don't even know like how to pull up the news or whatever. Oh wait, no, actually I want the tournaments anyway. So if you guys didn't see, it looks like you have to get first place to get ultimate Galek or Supreme Galek. So, I mean, I would love to get first, but I'm not spending my resources on this. Where is he under orcs? Yeah, he is. Um, I mean, he's got a super sweet kit for Hydra. And I think like, like I'd probably use him in the counterattack team or something like that. But I don't know. I don't think realistically there's any hope that I would get him. I'm like 70 something into Mercy right now for voids. So I'm not super close. I really want to wait until there's a guaranteed. If for whatever reason my tournament bracket was like super low uh, right before the end, I'd consider pulling, but I don't like to, you know, take chances and all that stuff because someone else could be doing the same thing and then you're out all your voids and you kind of get screwed so it is what it is eight more pieces of lethal i i wish i don't think i ended up doing all of the defiant forge pass and i'm really kicking myself because i feel like that's probably like the best set that you can get for pve so oh well next time it comes around i'll try and focus on it a bit more but that's all we've got going on in the account I'll probably push out the video, like I said, on my Nightmare Counterattack team, just because I think it's pretty cool and, you know, like I said, could unlock a lot of things for a lot of different teams. But we'll end it here, and I will catch you all in the next one. Thanks for stopping by. Peace.